She's doing her butterfly guard perfect like she's supposed to, but we're gonna do it to where if they square up, okay? And I'm able to bully them down. So if somebody's square on with you like this, it's really easy to get this inside space on the shoulders. Use my head, push her down, and I make sure I take away like any space. I crush in, that way her, I'm trying to put her heels to her butt. So I don't wanna be out here, because she can just sit back up. So I move in here. Making sure my hands aren't on the mat. Because of Morris and all that fun stuff. So I put them right there under the floating rib. I close my elbows and I listen to their heartbeat. Oh, your favorite. <laughs> all right, now I'm going, let's rotate just a little bit. So I'm gonna kick one leg back, bring it back in and trap this foot. So I'm going two legs on one leg. Okay. And from here, I pop my hips up and I use this elbow to push that leg through. And right here, up, push, back down. So I create the space, then I take the space away. I have a low side control here. I'm collecting up on the hips and then I'm going to climb that ladder. So looking for the cross face, if I get it, perfect. Move myself up to a standard traditional side control. Boom, a little shoulder adjustice. Try not to kink her neck. Oh, your shoulder adjustice isn't as fierce as Claire's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not what you were complaining about last time I did this. <laughs> and then here. Right. It was you and Claire, you both back up my neck. So, this isn't necessarily the wrong way to play your butterfly guard, it's just inefficient. So, if you are playing butterfly guard, this will stop me from being able to bully her down. I have to switch to something else. I can't just push her over. Okay? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. So this is a good butterfly guard. But if anybody squares up with you, like on you like this, I'm gonna get inside control, and put my forehead into their chest, and I'm gonna bully them down, take away this space. So I have, if I'm, I have my hands on her shoulder, and I'm here. Yeah. I can slide it down to the ribs at this point. That way my, my elbows are a little further away. Like I, I can close them in, but there's, there's a little space to where she can do some things. So when I slide it down, now I'm nice and tight. Not much she can do. Kick one leg back, bring it in. Where I'm trapping this foot. Hips come up. As I make that space, I use my elbow to push it through. Over here, here, back down. And I just climb that ladder. Cross face. Sometimes it's good to block the hip as you move up. That way if she tries to shrimp as I'm transitioning, I can track that hip with my hand. Boom. And I can bring my knees in, head and arm control. Nice and tight. Look for the wrist lock. All right, what kind of questions have we got? Good, good, good. All right, on three. One, two, three.